So market sentiment is very brutal right now, like across the entire crypto space, but specifically in the drip network community. There's a lot of FUD and I wanted to briefly address that today. Um, it's clear that the price of drip keeps going down, even though we're stabilizing a little bit around $1.50. Um, there's no stopping it and virtually we're going to be seeing uh, a dollar by the end of the year if there's no uh, bullish information coming out of Forex or any utilities by the end of the year. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If you're a new viewer to the channel, please consider subscribing. Like the video and comment down below and leave your wallet address because there are some airdrops every end of the week. But let's just jump right into the video and let's address the FUD that's going on around the community. Like it's killing me to say this right now, but if there's no new utilities coming out of Drip, if Forex doesn't come out and does Drip specific AMAs every single week, then we are going to be seeing a $1 Drip by the end of the year, uh, if not a little bit less, right? So market sentiment is brutal. As I said before, uh, the cryptocurrency market right now, if we look at the crypto fear index, um, I think it's very fearful, right? So yeah, it's sitting at 27 and the whole week has been pretty bad. Like if you look at the last month, last three months, right? The last three months have been pretty, pretty bad. So um, unfortunately, there's a lot of FUD that's been accumulating around the crypto space uh, and specifically around the drip network, primarily because a lot of people that are creating this FUD are saying that drip is a Ponzi. Um, because of the MLM, because of the referral system, because of the way that everything is taxed. Um, a lot of people unfortunately can't understand the fact that a drip Ponzi-like system is not the same thing as a Ponzi. Like I don't want to touch too much into this. So let's say you're a brand new faucet owner, right? You come here, you want to start a brand new wallet. You can literally come over here without using anybody's referral so that you don't give any commission to anybody use the marketing and development wallet and then sign up under them so that it helps in the marketing right uh, you can use that and you could literally have nobody under you and you can still max out your wallet and earn passive income and at a price of a dollar 55 let's calculate that quickly together say a dollar 55 multiply by 200 just an estimation you can make literally $310 per day, right? That's excluding the whale tax uh, when you're claiming, right? So you can literally be doing that on a daily basis without having any referrals, without, without even being referred by anybody, and you can still win in the system, right? So um, right, right there, it just right away tells you it's not a Ponzi, right? Another thing that people need to understand is that a Ponzi, in order to be a Ponzi, the current investors are benefiting from old investors, right? But it could not be more wrong because as an investor right now with no team members, I could invest a thousand dollars, right? But then my friend that's on the other side of the planet could invest five thousand dollars and he could be making more money than me. So it doesn't make sense to me that you are benefiting from the people under you. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't jive in my head, right? So the one thing I'd like to address as well is that uh, there are some people in the drip community that have flipped, that have switched, and I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to name them channel. I'm not going to name their channels. But essentially for me, it's not something that should be publicized if you are if you were a drip promoter in the past and you're flipping and you're going to other projects and you're just not finding drip network as sustainable in your opinion or not as interesting then just don't talk about it don't you know don't keep talking about it don't always promote yourself using a community to build your audience on that community if you're not even part of it anymore and creating that FUD is just not going to be um, it's not going to be helpful to anybody, right? So you're you're kind of removing your bag, but you're also scaring people from putting in bags or or sustaining their bags, right? So, in my opinion, FUD for new investors and old investors is a little bit different because old investors that have been here for a year or two can literally invest without their emotions, and even 
at their level it could be hard right even me i've been here for a year and a half or almost two years now i'm still having trouble not investing with my emotions but at the end of the day the thing that you have to keep in mind is do you trust the developer do you trust the mechanics have the mechanics ever done something wrong have the mechanics ever gotten exploited have the contracts ever gotten scammed rug pulled uh is it is it a honeypot right a honeypot is a backdoor kind of thing to leak money out there's no reason for you not to invest when the prices are good getting lower and lower and lower okay now the one thing that everybody needs to keep in mind is that one of the biggest factors that drove the price of drip down of the first animal farm launch right at that point uh something happened they had to freeze the contract and then they had to freeze the pigs token because it wasn't on a master chef contract so the whole farm has to be, had to be paused and then forex put all of his attention in a 10 year in 10 month span just working on the animal farm and just didn't pay attention to the to the drip token right now this is major right so you have somebody who is a genius developer who's focusing on one project and temporarily putting or stepping away from another project right so that right away gave the impression to a lot of the community or a lot of the potential investors that he doesn't care about this project and he's soft rugging right it's not a soft rug because he is continuously working on the back end he just doesn't share all the information off the bat you know he doesn't just share it to everybody unless he has something ready so the attention has been put on the animal farm for 10 months and in that 10 months we have been hit with a crazy bear market since the beginning of that pump in 2021 or beginning of 2022 um bitcoin was at 60 60 69,000 65,000 or whatever and it came all the way down to 16,000 so that dropped the whole market from 3 trillion to 800 billion uh cryptocurrency market as a whole and you know drip came down with it just like bnb what went from 700 or 600 down to uh 300 that it is right now so everything is coming down drip is following that same kind of pattern right but market sentiment is not there because a lot of people don't choose to invest their money in cryptocurrency projects but as soon as we go back into a you know more positive sentiment in the cryptocurrency market and ecosystems then market sentiment is going to slowly come back into the faucet especially at that time if forex emphasizes a lot of his amas on drip right and you know we've been talking about that today in the twitter spaces if at least once a week forex comes out in an ama just to talk to the community and answer questions that could be something that could help us sustain some kind of price floor because people are going to slowly trust forex again that he's there and he's talking about the project that he's working on things in the back end that he's not you know ignoring all the uh, comments about the uh, prices and the, the downfall from 160 all the way down to to what, whatever we are at right now right so i feel like uh if we put in a bit of effort if we you know as a community push the the token a bit further there's no way the price of drip is not going to go back up in price there's no way a lot of investors are not going to just come back in because the fundamentals the mechanics the contracts everything is working perfectly right for over uh, a year and a half we have been paying one percent per day the contract has been minting tokens to make sure that everybody gets paid one percent per day as the contract is intended to so there's no reason for me not to trust the contract that's still paying me on a continuous basis knowing very well that the price is temporarily down but it's going to go back in price go back up in price i'd i'd much rather invest a thousand dollars when the price is a dollar per coin than invest a thousand dollars when the price is fifty dollars or sixty or seventy dollars i'll bite my tongue at that point right so uh none of this is financial advice guys but uh, i just wanted to address uh, briefly a lot of the information that has been spreading about um the project being dead the project uh slow rugging the project uh being ignored by the developer and quite frankly the one thing that i have to tell everybody is don't invest with your emotions okay you have to make sure you understand the project you have to do your research because 
especially for new investors, if you invest with your emotions and you just simply look at the chart and don't understand and do your research, then obviously you're not going to understand why you're investing and you're just simply not going to invest the right way. And that's why I keep saying, um, well, I frequently say, do your own research, right? You have to do your research. And then if you think this is something that would be interesting to you, then you can go ahead and invest. If not, then there are other projects out there. I mean, we have the animal farm that you can just put in your BUSD as a stable coin and earn 120 APR per year, right? So there's so many different options that uh, you guys could, could use in this ecosystem. And if you really don't trust any of the developers and don't trust the contracts, then you can go elsewhere, no problem. But personally, um, this is the best ecosystem not just because the community is so helpful but because the developers are helpful and knowledgeable and have a lot of experience in cryptocurrency and in traditional finance and for me this is something that i look for in a project and in a team all right guys so this was a mini sidetrack but anyways if you guys enjoyed today's video please like the video down below please let me know what your thoughts are like do you think my comments about the FUD and the community is justified or do you think I'm wrong uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think uh, please leave your comment with a wild address down below subscribe if you're new and please share the video if you could that would mean a lot to me thank you so much and have yourself a great day